Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very interesting and challenging question from radical equations and we are going to solve for real values of x. So let's get started. I will write equation equal to y. Now I can write y equal to cube root of 1001 minus x cube and y equal to square root of 101 minus x square. Now I will consider cubing of first equation and squaring of second equation. So I will write y cube will be equal to 1001 minus x cube and y square will be equal to 101 minus x square. After rearrangement of terms I can write y cube plus x cube equal to 1001. This I will call equation number 1. And from second equation x square plus y square equal to 101. Let us say equation 1 and equation 2. Now I will apply a cube plus b cube formula here. So I can write x plus y times x square plus y square minus xy equal to 1001. Now x square plus y square is 101. So x plus y times 101 minus xy equal to 1001 or x plus y equal to 1001. I will call this is my equation number 3. Now from equation 1 and 2, let me write here x cube plus y cube equal to 1001 and x square plus y square equal to 101. Now I will consider squaring of first equation. Squaring. So I will be getting x power 6 plus y power 6 plus 2x cube y cube equal to 1001 whole square. And I will consider cubing of this equation. So I can write x power 6 plus y power 6 plus 3 x square y square times 101 equal to 101 whole cube. So from first equation x power 6 plus y power 6 this will be equal to 1001 whole square minus 2 x cube y cube and from second equation I can write x power 6 plus y power 6 this will become 101 whole cube minus 303 x square y square. Now let us assume x y equal to t. Once I will substitute in both the equations then I will be getting x power 6 plus y power 6. This will be 1001 square minus 2t cube. And from second equation x power 6 plus y power 6 this will become 101 whole cube minus 303t square. Now left hand side is x power 6 plus y power 6 in both the equations. So I can equate our RHS as left side is same. Let me write here 1001 whole square minus 2t cube equal to 101 whole cube minus 303 t square or I can write my cubic equation as 2t cube minus 
t square and after simplification 28300 will be equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation. I will use method of synthetic division and rational root theorem. So let us find out the eligible factors of 28300. So we can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 plus minus 5 plus minus 10 plus minus 20 plus minus 25 and so on. For leading coefficient I can write only plus minus 1 plus minus 2. Now because of 28300 is very big number if I will plug in t equal to 1 it won't give us RHS 0. You can see it won't be equal to 0. Let us apply t equal to 10 directly. So 2 times 10 cube 2000 minus 303 times 100 30300 plus 28300. Will it satisfy? Yes. 30300 with plus sign minus sign 0. So conclusion from here is t equal to 10 is our base solution. Now I will use all the coefficients of cubic equation for SDM. Let us write SDM base solution is t equal to 10. So coefficients are 2, minus 303, 0, 28300. Now 2 would be as it is, 2 times 10, 20. So I will be writing here minus 283. 10 times minus 283, minus 2830, minus 2830. And once I will multiply with 10, I will get 28300 with negative sign 0. So here we have coefficients for quadratic equation. So I will write 2t square minus 283t minus 2830 equal to 0. Let us apply quadratic formula. So I will write t equal to minus b. So 283 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac. 4 times 2 times and this will be plus 2830 divided by 2a so 2 times 2 4 after simplification we will be having 283 plus minus 11 square root 849 divided by 4 and if i will find decimal values then 150.8 and negative 9.37 approximate values approximate and t was our substitution t was x y so i will be writing three values of x y let me write here so i will write x y which was t 10 x y equal to negative 9.37 positive 150.8 and our equation was x plus y equation number 3 it was 1001 over 101 minus xy so for xy equal to 10 if I will calculate x plus y, this will be equal to 1001 over 101 minus 10, 1001 over 91 and this value will come out 11.
Similarly, for xy equal to 150.8, x plus y will be equal to 1001 over 101 minus 150.8. So, this value will come out negative, negative 20 point, I will write 1, 11 and negative 20.1. Now, the turn off the last xy value negative 9.37 x plus y will be 1001 over 101 plus 9.37 and we will get 9.06 approximate value of x plus y from here. Now you can see xy is 10 negative 9.37 and 150.8 then we have 3x plus y values so let me solve one by one i will write first system x plus y 11 with xy 10 with xy 10 so i can think about one quadratic equation whose roots are x and y, then this is sum of roots, this is product of roots. Let me write equation in x itself. So, x square minus sum of roots 11x plus product of roots 10 equal to 0. So, from here I can write x square, let us split minus 11 as minus x minus 10x plus 10 equal to 0 x is common x minus 1 negative 10 is common x minus 1 equal to 0 or we can write x minus 1 times x minus 10 equal to 0. So x will become 1 or 10. Two real solutions we will cross check at last. Now I will consider our second system. It was x plus y negative 20.1 with xy 150.8. So, I can write again one quadratic equation x square minus 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 will become plus 20.1 x plus 150.8 equal to 0. Now, this is one quadratic equation. Let us check discriminant only. So, delta will be equal to 20.1 whole square minus 4 times 1 times 150.8. Now, you can see it will be 600. This will be approximately 400. Discriminant will come out negative. Complex solutions will generate. So, we will reject. Now, I will consider our third system. x plus y equal to 9.06 with xy equal to minus 9.37. Let us frame quadratic equation. So, I can write x square minus 9.06x plus product of roots but it is negative so minus 9.37 equal to 0. Now I will solve this quadratic equation and I will be getting x approximate value 9.998 and negative 0 0.937 or I can write approximately 10 and negative 0 0.937. So, we can write our final answer for this radical challenge. x will be equal to 1, 10 and negative 0 0.937. Let us verify. So, I will check x equal to 1 and 10. So, LHS, 
I will write cube root of 1001 minus 1 cube, so 1 equal to square root of 101 minus 1 square, so 1. So this will become cube root of 1000 equal to square root of 100, which we can write cube root of 10 cube, it is square root of 10 square. Now square root is square, cube root cube will be over 10 equal to 10, hence verify. Now x equal to 10. LHS I will be writing cube root of 1001 minus 10 cube. It will be 1000 equal to square root of 101 minus 10 square 100. So this will become cube root of 1 equal to square root of 1. So 1 equal to 1. Hence this is also verified. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Goodbye.